What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be playing a little bit of Triple Threat online and offline. So there are three new cards you can get. So Triple Threat online, it is, or Triple Threat offline is Heinrich and Randolph. Triple Threat online is a guy, a Dion Waiters card that actually looks really, really good. So what I'm pretty much going to do is I'm gonna play probably four games of each or I'll probably probably 25 minutes a half an hour of each and we're gonna see what we can get so the team I'm gonna run with in triple chat online is let's go with Blake Lamar Odom and let's see who fits this game mode well do I have any no none of these guys Actually, Hito fits game up quite well, so I'll go with these guys. These three. And hopefully, hopefully we can get a couple of wins. Like, it's not the biggest deal in the world. So, before we obviously get onto the games, I'm going to go over the stats of the three new cards right now. So, the reason why I'm so interested in these cards is that they're all really good. So, Zach Randolph is a beast. I obviously can't see the picture, but this is the card here. Zach Randolph has got seven Hall of Fame badges, an 87 three ball. Yeah, and he's not actually that slow. So let's say, yeah, he's slow with the ball, but that's about it. Unreal post game, great interior defense. So he's also got 50 intangibles, which means uh, this guy may be a hidden Galaxy Opal and he's free on triple threat offline boards. So I'm definitely gonna be playing a little bit with him or playing a little bit to try get him. He's got post spin technician Hall of Fame. He's got quick draw, but I think pretty much every card that comes out nowadays has got quick draw. Moving truck Hall of Fame, put back boss, back down punisher, contact finisher and cross key score. So they are good Hall of Fame bags and again, some fantastic, fantastic stats. And this is like Randolph, especially for a free card. Kirk Heinrich, from, uh, who's also from the Triple Threat Offline. 91 three-point shot, 88 shot mid, 89 speed, accelerations via ball. He's not going to be dunking at all. He's at 95 perimeter defense and 94 lateral quickness, which is insane. So he has also got unpluckable Hall of Fame, pick dodger and trapper, and gold clamps, gold intimidator, gold defensive leader, a quick first step. He's got quick draw, catch and shoot, corn special screen machine. So basically, if he had range extender, he'd be the perfect as a shooter. I think he's going to be like a way better. I think Heinrich's 6'3", isn't he? He's 6'4". So he's going to be a way, way better Jason Kidd. I don't see him being like the most relevant card in the world. However, he is a beast. And he's going to be really solid. He's, he's better than Jerry West. Like He's probably, because he can't dunk, that is a bit of a problem, but... You know what? He's not a bad card in the slightest. And for free, he's ran. But this is the card that I'm really looking for. Dion Waiters. Yeah, he's 6'3", so he is on his size. But he can play the point guard position. He's got, um, before any Evos, he's got good enough perimeter defense. Good three ball, good mid range, good driving dunk. Good speed with ball. A6 ball handle, good speed, acceleration. Um, for an initial card, these are all good. Um, shooting badges, he's got gold range extender. Gold quick draw. And funnily enough, for of all players to not have steady shooter, Dion Waiters is one of the ones that doesn't. He's also got quick first step and um, gold, which is great to have. He's got gold clamps. And I, I don't remember Dion Waiters having gold, being this like absolute lockdown defender. Um, I don't really remember Dion Waiters playing defense, even when he was in Cleveland. Um, the only thing I remember, like the only thing of note that Dion Waiters really did in Cleveland was the rookie game where he went on that one-on-one -on -one with Tim Hardaway Jr. Other than that, the most notable thing he did was be a part of the J.R. Smith trade, where he went to the Thunder, did all right, and then went to the Heat, started off great, and then put on a lot of weight and did, smoked a lot of weed, or took a lot of edibles, or took something, anyway. Um, but when he goes up one tier, he gets a plus three shot close, plus three free throw, his driving nut goes to 95, which is really good. And then when he goes up his second tier, he goes up in ball handle by a little bit of perimeter defense and vertical. I don't know how the badges go, but I would say stats wise, hit the most um, relevant ones. Actually, no, he has a plus five three ball. But again, the first Evo, if he doesn't go up in any Hall of Fame badges with the last Evo, the first Evo is fine. He's got 35 gold badges as well. So this card is the one I'm really, really hoping to get in this video. Okay, so we are now on to game number one. So if, whatever, if in 20 minutes I don't get. Okay, so we're coming up, going to be coming up against a lot of really good players. So, even if we lose this game, I think we're still... Actually, I have no idea what we are. This is um, PS4. I have not played much Triple Threat in this, uh, on this system. But to be fair, like, worst case scenario, there are new boards. So, we're going to get some new... Um, 
we're gonna be getting some of the packs anyway so okay that's a good shot okay good board I brought I brought how was that their ball oh, come on 2k all right let's see if I'm guessing we're gonna continue our bad form today I'm playing like the worst 2k in my life today um white open green light good shot there by Lamar Odom I am um, just try to force as many turnovers to them as possible Straight line to the basket good thing there by Blake so we are now in control of this we can just score two is the rest of the game and we've won we can get two every single possession so you don't need to worry about shooting threes yet or anymore so literally just iso ball easy hook shot there you go they shouldn't be able to guard most people um point guards should not be able to guard Lamar Odom which is a big advantage I have in fact all three of my players are 610 so I can switch everything it's a bad shot okay great they didn't hit, shoot the three anyway white open Blake good shot there let's go all right, leads up to seven. So again, we are in a good position. We just need to, we don't need to do anything spectacular. We need to not let them shoot threes and also just be solid. That was a risky pass. That was wide open. I did not need that shot. Ido is wide open though. I'll take full white glitch, get the board, get the board. We've taken a lot of them shots here. And Blake Griffin's cleaning up on rebounds and finally gets a score out of that play. Alright, this should be an easy enough win here. And like the worst thing is, is that we don't know how long Waiters is on the boards. Because Two Bros basically said he is not allowed to tell us how long he's up. Which doesn't really make much sense. Like I get it, he would tell us if he could. It just doesn't make much sense on 2K's part. The way they won't tell us how long he's on the boards. But, you know what, um... If 2K's marketing wasn't questionable, I wouldn't have half of my rant video content on this channel. So we all know about 2K's questionable marketing. Um, we know it's always going to be bad. Good shot there by Lamar Odom. The snatch back into the base 11 shot is so cheese. That's why. That's literally my favorite thing about Lamar Odom. It was my favorite thing about Gilbert. Now it's my favorite thing about Odom. That's. Did I just leave the best shooter in the game open for three? Oh good, unless I do something dumb, I've won this game. Okay, let's go, let's get out of there, Blake. Nice fade there, good job, Odom. And Odom, just like every player in this game when above an 80 rebound, somehow has glass near takeover. Seems like half, like 80% of the cards in this game have that takeover. And again, does not matter really what he does at this stage. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's back him down, Odom. To the corner to Blake Griffin. It's off. Great. And it is good there by Levine. It's good. We actually do need a score. It doesn't need to be a two, or it doesn't need to be a three. A two will do fine. But a three will be even better for the game. There we go. Easy win right there. And hopefully a Dion Waiters comes up on one of the boards. Supposedly, according to um, HTB and Bio2K, supposedly Dion Waiters, no one even knows if he exists or not. That, like, no one's seen him in an hour, but 2K refused to say whether he's in or he's on or off boards. They refuse to advertise anywhere in game. It's just that limited time. And that absolutely no one knows when he's going to be back on boards if he's been gone off boards at all so that is fun but a nigadala pack is good you know i like these boards i mean this is the first board so these boards are a lot better than the old boards makes this game a little bit more worthwhile but i am still going to play it for about another 20 minutes anyway just to see um see if we can get a Dion Waiters card 
Okay, is that is that nigga down a pack? If it is, I'll take it. That is solid. That's a solid pack. Oh, that's a solid pull right there. Give me a 100 MT right there. And I'll take my one token. A token and a Gadala pack, though. Like one sign and a Gadala pack, it's about three something K or three around three K MT. I'll take that. That's fine. That's a decent amount of uh, stuff earned from Triple Trap. So, we're going to go and play this for probably three more games, I'd say. And then we're going to go offline and see if we can get anything from the vault. So, I'm just going to be showing over, going over some highlights of the game, showing you guys what I want, what games I won, what games I lost, and then we are going to be back. Well, I'll be talking over. I'll be back live in a couple of minutes. So basically, with this lineup, I used I never really used it before in Triple Threat, and I just absolutely blitzed everyone. Basically, Lamar Odom was playing point guard, and nobody could guard Lamar Odom. So pretty much every game was just giving it to Odom. Then they double teamed, and we'd finish. So. First board, unfortunately, we did not see a Dion Waiters. And then another game, another of a very similar type. So 16 points there with Lamar Odom, a terrible shot there, but a good rebound by Hito Turkaloo, who goes and hits the fade away for the win. And for some reason, this guy instead just quit the game. But um, again, we get no Dion Waiters. So I was actually starting to believe the likes of Henry and stuff that he just wasn't in on the boards. But again, as I'll say throughout the video, two bros apparently literally cannot say anything about it. So it's obvious the 2K, like I don't know. I, I genuinely, it's baffling. It is absolutely baffling the way 2K are. And another win right there. And that's the last game we played. Okay, so we have actually been 40 minutes playing these games. So... A little bit longer than I thought playing Triple Tread online anyway. Um, because I really do want that Dion Waiters card. But unfortunately, nobody knows as of right now whether Dion Waiters is is there or is not. Because not only is um, 2K not saying anything. It's that 2K, like Robbie, two bros, can't say anything. He's literally said, I can't say when. I can't tell you when this card's coming up. Well, just know it's going to be limited. And we already know that the card's already been there. So, please give me a way it is on this board. At least I got a three tokens on the board, I guess. Like, a way it is on a board of four drops would be absolutely ideal. It would be a choke if I missed them, like. To be fair, a lot of the boards are luck. I missed it when Channing Fry, when it was like... When the time was, was there for Channing Fry, he was on the board literally every set. Basically, every board you got, there was a Channing Fry on it. I hate the way these ball drops are so slow. Like, I don't even think I've played that many games. It's just I've been waiting so long in ball drops. Surprisingly enough, like, I actually spent more times in ball drops than I did in game. Like, obviously, this is sped up 2,000%, but I genuinely spent more time dropping the ball and watching it go than I did in game, which is a little bit ridiculous for TTO this year. There we go. That's center two. We got a fair bit of MT out of that one, to be fair. Like, we've gained a decent amount of MT. We've gained a lot of tokens. I know it is 40 minutes of playing, just a little bit. So we're going to go into single player triple chat now. I'm trying to think who I'm trying to Evo up. Michael Cooper, I need a lot with him. I'm realistically not going to be able to Evo him up. So I'm going to go to the force Evo him up. We need Evo up Hito. Yeah, 40 assists and 400 more points. And also, I need to Evo up. Where is he? One more tier, Lucius Allen. You need 45 more points and one more assist. So we are going to go with a bronze. Um, and then we are going to go with Lucius Allen, point guard. And then Hito Turkaloo. Okay, so hopefully we come up against easy opposition here. All right, so we should be fine. Like, um, I'll play this game for another maybe. we already three or four games of this. And just try out at uh, least Evo up Lucius Allen. Like, if I'm getting those assists with Hito, like, it's literally a case of... I can probably get Hito up in those spotlight challenges anyway, but... Okay, so this, just pick and roll. Right to Lucius Allen. Easy layup right there. I just need to keep doing that, and I'm going to get score after score after score with him. I should have him Evo up fairly quickly. Please, 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 we got the vault straight away. And with that is... 1500 MT, we're probably not going to open the vault at all again for this, these 
That is annoying. That's really annoying. So I'm going to play three more games, but hopefully we can open the vault at least once more in those three games. And game number two. Please be... It's a slow guard. That's perfect. We're going to win this game. So I'm just going to show the rest of the vault openings. There's no point showing me playing against the CPU. So time number two to second try. Unfortunately, we could not get the vault open. Okay, there we go. We got the vault to open again. Please be a player. Please be a player. We got one token. 2K. One token. All of that for one measly token, 2K. And I accidentally clicked in, so and it won't. You're once you click in, you can't click out. I was going to Evo up my um, Lucius Allen there, but obviously I missed it. But yeah, not a great reward right there. All right, we have one last chance at the vault for this video. Probably not going to be able to open it. But we got three or four. Please don't be one token. Please be a player. Please be a player. Diamond coach contractor shoe pack. I'll take that. And we also get a free agent. But I will take the coach contractor shoe. And we also have got one player to Evo up. We could have probably Evo him up two games ago. And made a bit of headway towards getting up to an amethyst. But you know what? I'm never getting 800 points, 300 assists with him. So I'm perfectly happy with him the way he is. Perfectly happy with this 88 overall Lucius Allen to put into my team. But anyway, yep, that is the video. We didn't get much, but again, a diamond contract, bit empty, bit of tokens, can't complain. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.